Hello guys and welcome back to World of Warships Legends Beta my friends. I see it is, I had a lot of fun playing this on my first video which you guys saw when I took on the, you could say the first battle uh, within the beta. I've been looking at some of the stuff that you can do during the beta and it seems like you can only do three battles online against AI. So it seems like, you know, that you're probably thinking to yourself that's not really much content for a beta but I see it is, there is going to be multiple betas. I'm not sure if it's going to be multiple betas of the same thing or whether or not they're going to add in new things in the upcoming betas that come available at a later point. But since this game comes out at some point throughout 2019, I thought to myself, well, if there's going to be multiple betas, there possibly will be more content in the future betas. So there's only two more battles I need to do. So I thought, you know what? How about we do them in today's video and give you guys the remainder of the battles that are available within this beta stage at this point and moment in time. But if you guys are enjoying World of Warships Legends Beta and you want to see more videos on this in the near future, when the full game comes out, I don't mind picking up the full game and be able to give you guys some videos on it if that's something you'd like to see. Or if it is that you would like me to participate in the other betas when they come available, then let me know down below in the comment section. If you do enjoy today's video, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'd really, really appreciate it, guys. Since I'm new to these sorts of things, guys, I see this on my first video. I had a lot of fun with it. So hopefully, be able to kick, take some booty, well, kick some booty and take some, take some names and put some enemies to shame. I get my words out as well. Literally, it's pretty late here in the UK at the time recording this video. Literally, I just feel pretty tired today, guys, because I've been recording a lot today. But I'm all good. So I do apologise if I do ramble on a little bit. Just keep an eye in, keeping an eye out for them ships. Once they can spot any enemy, enemy ships anywhere. It's really, really quiet, but we are pushing slowly towards the enemy area. Do this. Oh, there's an enemy over that. We aim. We managed to hit him, right? fair play. We can do this, we can do this. Let's get a little bit more closer to the ship. So obviously you have to do think of like bullet dip and stuff. Just want to try and make sure we can get closer to the target and be able to cause as much damage on these things as possible. Come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do this. Causing it some damage. Not much damage, but we're doing it. <laughs> Hopefully my ships can cause the ship a lot of damage. Proper all bombarding that ship though. Come on boys, let's do this. Ooh, it's really, really, really weak. Come on. The ship is on fire. My ship's on fire, I need to be careful. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Oh, we did a good job with that one. Alright, time for this one. Doesn't really help when he's right next to that other ship as well. So it's kind of got a little bit of a barricade right now, so we need to try and get myself a better angle on the ship. Just so I can take it. Otherwise, it might be bombarding a sunken ship. And keep constantly moving as well. You can stop your ship and make sure that you stay still, but it's not a wise tactic because, in my opinion, if I'm staying still, I become the enemy's easy target because they can just literally just keep bombarding me because I'm not moving. So, always keep moving. 
whilst you're shooting, but also pay attention to where your ship's going because you don't want to be hitting into other things or into islands or giant rocks or anything. Because I'm assuming you're going to take a lot of damage whilst doing that. And I would say if you do end up hitting rocks and stuff, you're just going to end up trapping your boat. Enemies are going to end up getting you. That's obviously something I, you know, I would advise when you're doing online battles because this game, the full game, will have PvP in it. But Asita's for this, obviously, I don't really need to worry that much because obviously it is PvE. So. Yes. Let's take it. The ship is on fire. I know it's on fire, but I can't do nothing right now because I need to wait for it to cool down before I can use my fire extinguisher slash repair tool. Oh my days. Enemy cruiser destroyed. My ship is really, really weak right now. I need to be really careful. You can see the health bar at the bottom of the screen, guys. The bottom left hand corner of the screen. It's not good. But I think we managed to do it, boys. I just don't want to be being too aggressive with it, you know what I mean? Last thing I want is being blown up on video, but it's another victory to add to the collection. And that just leaves now one more battle that we need to do in order to complete all three of the battles that are remainder. Well, remaining within the beta. But I'm not sure if the beta progression from this beta goes into any future betas or not, or whether or not I'll have to restart it. Upon reaching maximum XP with the current ship, the next ship in the branch becomes available. Also, current ship becomes elite and starts to earn elite ship XP. Explore the national tech trees on the corresponding screen. Oh, okay. So you get, like, new ships and stuff, which is pretty cool. I do like that. You can get like upgrades and stuff, which is kind of cool, guys. Kind of like that. I don't think I'm able to uh, get anything like proper new or anything because the fact is, you know, this is a beta, you know what I mean? But in the full game, I assume you're going to be able to do full big massive upgrades and stuff like that, which is fairly cool, you know what I mean? The more you grind at this game, the more you play, the more rewards you're going to get. And on the website as well, there's like a special little thing that's going on where it's like a little community challenge for all the people who are participating in this beta, like myself. Um, as seated, you can unlock some really cool rewards for when the full game comes out by like filling up this meter. It's like a community challenge. So I think that's pretty cool. So with me doing this, guys, I'm kind of doing my part towards it. So obviously for you guys out there that may want to pick this game up when it comes out, you should probably have some really cool goodies. Um, like unlocks and stuff for when the full game comes out. I don't know if it's going to be like things like extra currency and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know they've got something going on for it. So wish me luck with this one now. We'll see we've got two victories so far. I want to try and get a third one. Whew, let's do this, boys. But if you are enjoying today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. would really, really appreciate it. Let's keep an eye out now. Stations. Try and see if we can spot the enemy. See where they are. See where they are hiding out. I know that obviously that's their area, but I assume they're not just going to be sitting there. You know what I mean? Got a feeling they're going to be hiding away somewhere. Where are they? I literally can't see them right now. Because we are like literally proceeding towards the enemy area. Oh, 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 enemy boats have been sighted. Where are these mama jammers? Where are they? Ah, okay, so they're behind the back of that island. Fair play. And we've got some over here as well. These boys are coming out to play. Hello, daddy -o. Let's do this. Got 
quite a few ships around in this area here, so I wanna try and see which ones I can take or take down. I always tend to go for the closest ships or try catch ones that you know a bit are oh, really weak, so then I can just try and take them out really quickly. Problem solved, sir. Well, we can do this. It's really weak right now. Really weak, sorry. I do apologize if I can't get my words out. Take into consideration I'm pretty tired, guys. But we got a job to do right now. We got ships to destroy. And then before I can hit the pillow, see since I've got a couple more Call of Duty videos I need to get done, so it's gonna be an interesting night ahead of me. do this. Right, this ship is really, really weak. Come on, we can take it. Be careful. Ships over there, and I've got two over there as well. I mean, I've got ships behind me as well, so I need to be really, really careful. According to my mini map, I have anyway. Come on. No, 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 I'm being bombarded. Yo! There's three of them right behind me. Well, two. Oh, three, sorry, there is three. Let's be careful, though. Oh, my days. This is what happens, guys, when you're not paying attention to where you're sailing. I mean, this guy is literally gliding. Proper slows you down as well. Come on, we can take him. That ship's been taken care of. We've got literally four boats left now. Well, four ships. Let's take them. Ooh, come on. We can do this. We can do it. Really weak right now. My team are literally on fire right now. Well done. Right, he's been taken care of. There's one more ship left. <laughs> it's like literally six of me, well, six on my team and one on theirs. We've got this, boys. There now, come on. It's really weak. There we go, my friends. There we go. Cita's absolutely smashed it. Three battles in total, three victories. Um, but that is pretty much all there is available on this particular portion of the beta, my friends. Hopefully, then the upcoming betas of this. Um, there's going to be more content. Protocitas, overall, I've had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully, you will enjoy it too. Um, just want to say to thank you to the developers for hitting me up with a beta code and everything for this because it's just been a great honor and a great pleasure in being able to play this. I think this beta is awesome and got a lot of potential um, to be a really great game when the full game comes out. 
and hopefully I'll be able to do more videos on this in the near future. If there's more betas with more content, then I'll happily get on board and make more videos on it. If you would like to see that, then let me know down below in the comment section. As it is, if you are new guys, then I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you all again next time on another brand new video. See you all then.